How did you get into Glastonbury? How did you come to work for Silver Haze? What's your background in? Uh, I, I've been involved in sort of this sort of stuff. I, mean, I started in theatre for years, um, and I actually I, I've known Malcolm um, for quite a few years, uh, and I work closely with the, the, one of the guys who used to be the production manager here now, who runs his own sort of uh, company, who put me up for the job. So um, and who was that? A, a, a guy called Julian Rudd. Okay, all right. Um, so it was in the deep end, and fingers crossed, hopefully they'll call me back again. Yeah. Well, <laughs> man, hey, I'm in the same boat. I did the build this year because I said to Malk I wanted to be a part of the build, and uh, that was getting thrown in the deep end. It's yeah. absolute. It's uh, I, I'd say the word chaos, but not in a, not in a negative way. But no. It's just, but it is just one after the other. Yeah. After. Absolutely. And I, and I must say, it um, to to be a part of the build and to see how everyone operates. People, 200 pounds for a ticket is not that much money when you see what goes on behind the scenes before people even step onto the. It's just mind blowing. Yeah, absolutely. How much work goes into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's this. a lot of people who work for the love of. Well, that's what a lot of people have said when we've gone to crew parties in the yeah. lead up to the festival. And people come here to see mates. They come here to get their ticket. They come here to work. They come here to be a part of something bigger. It's amazing, you know. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. A beautiful absolutely. Thing. Yeah, no, it's great. I mean, certain areas like the blues are just phenomenal. You know, it's a. Uh, it looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. It is, it's great. It's gorgeous. Well, I had to do the road trip up to Ainsbury, I think it is, to get the man. That, <laughs> that was interesting. It was my first view of Stonehenge, so I was happy with that, but uh, that was a long, long, long day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, wh what happens, I guess, you know, a lot of people know about the build and how, to, you know, the infrastructure, you sort of, um, a, a lot of planning goes in. When do you start the plan? Um, we sort of really start back in um, I mean this year I was having conversations with Malcolm as early as January but really sort of um, April we start that real you know when bands are in place and we're getting all the information um, yeah it all starts in April really yeah. so it's sort of like a three months sort of like bill pre-production yeah and how long is the pack down uh, that's amazing you know it's sort of last year my side of it was all out by Tuesday lunchtime. Wow, really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that obviously there's an awful lot here, but um, yeah, our part of de-rigging all the technical, all the our suppliers are usually off-site by Monday night. So, yeah. and then we're dragging back in all the scaffolding, steel deck, yeah. risers. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed for good weather on Monday. Absolutely. Yeah. It, uh, well, you know, it says it rained this morning, but it's kind of just given the ground, you know, it's been so dusty. No, it's good. It's, it's, good. it's good to settle the land a yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It seems people kind of chilled out a little bit yesterday when it rained. I think it's great. It... Everyone was thinking it's going to be all full, so there's that tenseness of sort of like getting ready for it. And that... And then it turns out great. You can yeah. feel everyone sort of like energized by yeah. the fact that it's not going to be as bad as they thought. So yeah. Well, I thought it was going to be pretty bad this morning when yeah, I woke yeah, up. Absolutely. It was pouring. Yeah. It was. Yeah. So what happens? Uh, what happens after Glastonbury for you, Jim? Uh, have you got your own company, or do you go? And no, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm freelance. So yeah. I, I work for anyone who rings. Um, I, actually, <laughs> I actually have a two-week holiday booked. Yeah. Three days after I leave this site, I'm going to go to Mallorca for two weeks with my family. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. It gets, it's what's getting me up in the morning at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I go and work on a, another big free festival called the uh, London Mella in Gunnersbury Park. So, and then Bestival, and I'm doing SW4. Um, then I roll into sort of corporate stuff in London. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's constantly changing. Fantastic. Constantly changing, yeah. Well, mate, I'm going to let you go because I think that's about the 10 minutes you've told everybody on the radio you need in order to. Uh, to I'd take like a bit of time say, off. A pleasure working with this man, a star. Oh, thank you very much, Jim. That means a lot. No, it was. All right, mate, let's get out of Thanks, here. It's Jim here from Glastonbury 2014 for Industry Insider.